late start to the vlog today because obviously after last night's antics we were not down for it at all this morning but look we even made it here because Jack over there weren't feeling too good, still ain't feeling too good, feeling a bit sick so we had to hit the chemist, get a few sickness and headache tablets just to straighten them out a little bit but now we made it to the boat anyway, hopefully as the time progresses this morning we can get like in a bit more of a better vibe because at the minute we're feeling a bit rough but um, yeah it's nice the boat's hench we've got our own little VIP top spot so hopefully it's going to be a good day give it a couple of hours let the vibes kick in and then we'll get creating some sick content let it be let it be said to leave me never Shopping. Lost the rock and roll with your mother in a rhyme down facing the forest. Yes, sir. Lost the rock and roll with your father in a rhyme down facing the forest. And I said, I could take you to somewhere far away that I know. I could take you to somewhere far away that I know. Uh. What is good, my geezers? Just touched down the Butterfly Valley. This boat is rocking like cow. I think I need to hold on to this bar. But yeah, look how beautiful this place is. Butterfly Valley. We're gonna get off the boat, have a little explore around, get a couple of shots. It's gonna be so sick. The place looks beauts. So let's get in there and see what's going on. This place is so nice, and there's like loads of campers as well. Like, so many campers. What is that? What is that behind me? It looks so nice. Gonna find some more little spots, get a couple more little Bangladeshi heats for you. So, I've kind of gone off the beaten track, and I'm on some like little dirt track. I think it's leading me deep into the valley of the shadow of death. I'd take a look at my life and realize there's not much left. Don't know the rest of the lyrics, but um, yeah, Butterfly Valley. I can hear some chicks singing. She's going in on the vocals. Some Turkish X Factor shit going down right here. You heard it first. Cop the single. Joseph. Kind of lost Jack. Sheesh kebab. She's going in on the vocals though. They're going in on the vocals. Jay is off, mate. What are you saying, bro? Oh, good. Are you filming? Yeah. Bro, bro. Man. Get my Nathan Drake on. <laughs> He's on a mission. He's a man on a mission. Get a little dangler. Yeah, this rock looks like it'll be a dangle. What the fuck? Nah, come down, man. We chill here, innit? What we do to get the bangers? <laughs> Jay almost got killed off, mate. Stood on a rock and it come from under his feet. He could have been peace out down that mountain, mate. You have to jump it. Nah, man, this is white. Nathan Drake vibes. He's down, he's alive. He made it. 
Ah. Oh. Woo, back on land. Survive. I just had to climb up that to get a shot. And I nearly killed myself because the rocks were just crumbling beneath me. But I made it. It's not about this scuff though, check the scuff. Scuff? Check the scuff on the sneaks. Not the one. Who wears fresh Nikes on a fucking hike like this? Woo. The things we do for the gram. Right, we're gonna bounce back to the boat now because I think the ship is set to sail pretty soon, hitting the next location. So we're gonna go back, get through this little valley, hit the boat, hit the next location, get some more bangers, we'll catch you there. These rocks are not the one. Okay, okay. Deep breaths. Shit. Oh shit. Oh. oh my days. Oh. You can do it, Jack. Woo. You can make it. I'm glad that it went. Full of rocks. This location is so nice. And it's so hot. I'm actually cooking. I am literally roasterizations. And that concludes our tour of Butterfly Valley. We didn't get to make it to the waterfall because just as you get close to it, there's a dirty ass mud stream that you gotta walk through. And obviously we're not walking through barefoot and I'm definitely not walking through with trainers on my feet. So we had to give that one a miss. That's why we climbed that mountain instead to make up for it. So at least we got some sick little bangers. That's some little vibes. About right, to get back on the boat right now. Let's do this. Next location. I don't even know where the next location is, but I'm hoping it's good. I cannot wait to dip in that sea because I am sweating my balls off. Pitched up herb, just had our lunch. There's a little water slide that this geezer's trying to rag to make us go down, so we're gonna go and hit that shit right now. See where it leads us. About to hit this little water slide by. See what's cooking. Jack there, just chilling. Get ready down for it just yet. We're gonna do this. Oh, it's cold! Good luck to us, look. What about? What about? What is that? up at our next stop. I think it's called uh, Nicholas Island or St. Nicholas Island. I ain't too sure. But we're about to go on the shore and get some more shit. Check this place out because it looks nice. Have a little look guys. Look how sexy this place looks and the sea is so crystal. Get a glimpse of that. So we've obviously got to have a little dip, get some more shit. Snorkel is on. We're going to go and hit this sexy little bit of clear water. And uh, yeah, just see what we can see down there. So follow me. <laughs> Nice little snorkel. 
Right, back to the back on the boats. I don't know if we've got another location to go or if we're just going back to the uh, beach and going home, so let's find out. This place is so nice though, it's literally one of the nicest little beaches I've been to. So beautiful. Anyway, back on, back on deck. Just hit the next stop on the boat trip. This beach is called Camel Beach, Camel Toe Beach, as I prefer to call it. Um, yeah, it's a nice little secluded, remote little beach. Don't know about that there though, it's not about someone leaving all their trash shitting out there. But yeah, just having a little exploration around, gonna see what we can do, uh, get a couple more pictures and all that. But yeah, so far this has been one of the best boat trips I've ever done um, around this area, so really enjoying this one. I prefer the spots, I had a lot more different, every stop's different, they're not really just bays like on the 12 Island one, so definitely a much better boat trip. Really enjoying it so far. And I highly recommend it. Oluden is boat trip. Do it. You stand by the notion that anything goes. I'm feeling this motion from morning to close. And even when I text the day, we don't care. That's how we build on these memories we share. Like my flat home. Summer nights love them, how they take so long. Well then, I think it's time to head back to the boat and um, kind of guess we're going back to Oludini Beach, so let's do this. Oh, it's our last trip, man. It's our last trip and then we're going home. This is not the one. Last trip and then we're going back home. So depressed, not good. Anyway, catch up with you on the boat. Check these manners out. Touchdown back on Olu Dini Beach. That boat trip was one of the best boat trips I've ever done. Like, I recommend it to everyone the Olu Dini's boat trip. Make sure you do it. If you come to Olu Dini, make sure you do this boat trip. We did the 12 Island one a couple of days ago. I had nothing on this. This one was much better. The spots were much better. It was a much better location. I enjoyed it way more. So, yeah, make sure you do this trip. Anyway, I suppose we're, we better head back to the hotel. Start fucking packing because it's our last day. Look at this beach though. What is this beach? This beach is literally beautiful. Bro, I've just realised we literally have got to start packing. Literally, it's not even the one. Check out all of these boats. You've got flipping pirate ships, Jack Sparrow, Pirates of the Caribbean. you got all of that going on here. It's amazing. What a quality day. Let's dip. Big and 